Hi, I'm Anthony O'Connor with Sonoma State University, and this is Jana Cosgrove with the Sonoma League of Women Voters, and we are going to talk to you about Proposition 27. You'll see it on your ballot as allows online and mobile sports wagering outside tribal lands. It is an initiative, constitutional amendment, and statute. So, what is the question behind Proposition 27? The question is, should there be a constitutional amendment and statute that allows online and mobile sports betting outside of tribal land in the state of California for those 21 and older? What is Prop 27's current situation? Anthony, good question. The California Constitution and statutes limit gambling to the California lottery, card rooms, betting on horses, and gambling in the American Indian-owned casinos that have an agreement or a compact between the tribe and the state. Sports betting is not legal in California. California currently has compacts with 79 tribes, and tribes op currently operate 66 ca uh, casinos in 28 counties. And what do tribes pay currently? Um, currently, tribes pay $65 million to support state regulatory and gambling addiction program costs, tens of millions of dollars to local governments each year, and tribes operating larger casinos pay nearly $150 million each year to tribes that either do not operate casinos or have less than 350 slot machines. What does Prop 27 propose? Anthony, Proposition 27 would change the California Constitution and state law to allow online sports betting over the internet and mobile devices. It would allow adults 21 or older to bet on sports events online, including college sports and other events such as award shows. The better would not need to be at a casino to place the bet. Would school sports be involved? No, no, no betting would be allowed on high school sports. How would online gaming companies be involved? Prop 27 would enable large established gambling companies to offer online sports betting under the tribe's name and branding. These gaming companies must strike a deal with a state compacted tribe to operate in California. There would be some limitation on tribal rights and which gambling companies can participate. Would there be any regulation? Yes. Proposition 27 would create a new division to regulate online sports betting that would operate within the state's Justice Department. Fines from illegal gambling would go into a new fund, the California Online Sports Betting Trust Fund. Are there other revenues involved? Yes. In addition to fees on penalties, the new fund would collect revenues from a one-time licensing fee of $10 million from each tribe to the state with a renewal fee of $1 million every five years. A one-time licensing fee of $100 million from gambling corporations to the state with a renewal fee of $10 million every five years. And finally, a 10% tax on all companies or tribes involved in sports betting. Taxes based on gross amount minus payouts for winning bets, promotional fees, and federal gambling taxes. Then where would the fund revenues go? The new fund would pay state regulatory costs. After that, 85% of the remaining funds would be allocated to a new California Solutions to Homelessness and Mental Health Support Fund for permanent and interim housing. 15% of the revenues for tribes not involved in online and mobile sports betting would go to the Tribal Economic Development Account for tribal government, public health, education, infrastructure, and economic development. Is there anything else? Yes, the new fund would be seeded by a $30 million loan from the state general fund to be repaid within five years. What would the fiscal effects be? Anthony, the fiscal effects would depend on how many licensed entities offer sports betting and the amount of expenses they subtract from the mo monthly amount owed to the state. Plus the fiscal effects would depend on the number of people who choose to make sports bets. Therefore, increased state revenues could be in the hundreds of millions of dollar range and would probably not exceed 500 million with increased regulatory costs in the mid tens of millions of dollars. What do supporters say? Supporters say this measure will generate hundreds of millions of dollars each year in the solutions for homelessness and mental health. 
and they say will benefit all California tribes, including those without casinos. And what do opponents say? Opponents say 90% of the sports betting revenue will go to companies out of state and out of the country. And they say that these measures are not a fix to homelessness, but rather a massive explosion of gaming that will directly undercut tribal sovereignty and self-sufficiency. Can you tell us about campaign financing? Sure. $100 million has been donated in support by the Yes on 27 Californians for Solutions to Homelessness and Mental Health Support PAC. See the top donors to the PAC on your screen. And $114.13 million has been donated in opposition by the No on 27 Californians for Tribal Sovereignty and Safe Gaming. And Yes on 26, No on 27 Coalition for Safe, Responsible Gaming Committees. The top donors are on your screen. In conclusion, what does a yes vote mean? A yes vote creates a constitutional amendment and statute that allows online sports betting for those 21 and over in the state of California. It allows gaming tribes and online sports betting companies partnered with gaming tribes to operate in the state. And it creates a 10% tax on revenue generated from sports betting and licensing fees. And what does a no vote mean? A no vote means that online sports betting in California will continue to be illegal. Thank you very much, Jana, for the information. This has been absolutely wonderful. Thanks, Anthony, for all the questions.